Hey everybody, welcome back to another brand new video. We've got a full case break for you today. We did a new release preview video on this product on Wednesday on release day and I had to kind of kind of pull some strings, I guess, to even get this product. I was down in North Carolina at Top Sail Island Beach. I guess maybe it's, I think it might actually be pronounced Topsail Island Beach, but man, really good time with the kiddos down there. And I was looking around for cards, so I found one. It was called Ignition Cards. I went in there. They had one case. I was like, can I buy that whole case, please? Like, I, I'll sell you eight boxes. And I bought those eight boxes. I opened this product up at the house that we rented out on the beach. And I found some great cards. I think there was four Hall of Famers in there, including a super rare dual autograph, along with a one-of-one of Wade Boggs as well. So we just had some awesome luck with this product on Wednesday. And I told you guys, when I get back from the beach, I'll rip my case. And so here we are, Saturday night. We're doing this as our Saturday night video. I did stop off at some other card stores, but um, I didn't find anything really that um, kind of warranted its own video. So don't expect any like North Carolina card store uh, videos or anything like that here we go drew baker is gonna be up first there's a card show tomorrow i'll be stopping off at so maybe we'll bring a video from there but drew baker let's start this off and we start off with the ever menacing dave stewart it's his 1988 tops card it is number 99 out of 86 not the greatest pull right there that would be considered a loss as you know this is a uh it's like a, I always kind of draw the comparisons to this being a lottery ticket. And most of these boxes, you're probably not going to get back what you paid for it. Just like a lottery ticket, probably, I don't know. I don't ever really play the lottery unless the Powerball goes up to over like 500 million. But I feel like if you're buying lottery tickets, you probably lose 19 out of 20 times. Lose more than you paid for, and that's uh, it's not quite how it goes with this because you will get a couple really, really nice hits in a case. Next up, we have Jay Buhner, so we're up for two. You got a Jay Buhner 2000 Tops card, it is numbered out of 49 for P Word. So, P Word, there is hit number two, and we are off to a cold start. At least with these, you do get something, you get uh, maybe at worst. You're gonna get a five dollar autograph. Although that is that is pretty bad if you're paying like seventy to eighty dollars for a box. But Michael, here we go. Let's hope you can find a Hall of Famer in box number three. And we have Miguel Tejada. It is a one of one. So a rainbow foil one of one. For, it's a diamond anniversary. I think that's from 2011 Tops Lineage from way back in the day. And it's exactly what it is. A one of one of Miguel Tejada right there from Michael C. So Michael. Not too bad right there. They do like to put the one-of-ones in this product. I would not be surprised if we pull multiple one-of-ones. I'm going to go ahead and just guess. I'm going to guess three one-of-ones out of this case. Um, Stephanie Baxter is up next. I think the most one-of-ones I ever had. I had a crazy case where there's like seven or eight one-of-ones in a previous year's release of this product. Stephanie Baxter at spot number four. Let's see what we can find for you here. And we have Eric Davis. It's the... All-star card there. These used to come in the rack packs. I used to really like these cards just because it was almost like getting an insert back in 1987, for example. You just had the base set. All-star cards kind of felt like inserts back then, but these were something special. Only could be found in rack packs. It's numbered out of 66, Eric Davis. Stephanie Baxter with that one in the books. And technically, I would, I would say that we are... I'd say we're 0 for 4 right now in terms of big players. Dale's going to be up... At spot number five, Dale Baker. Let's see if, uh, wouldn't that be something if you found a Dusty Baker? I don't know if Dusty's in this checklist or not. There's a nice wide variety of players in here. Dusty Baker, former Major League Manager. Wouldn't that be something if you got a Dusty Baker? Let's see. Hey, you got George Foster. So he was a former masher there with the Big Red Machine. It's numbered out of 65. It's the 20th anniversary Kmart card. Commemorating the 77 Tops card there. 77 MVP, so interesting card right there for Dale. And, man, we are off to a very slow start. Let's see if Clutchy Twitch can get us something going here. Spot number six. 
So far, the best card is that Miguel Tejada, one of one in terms of value. And Clutchy, what do you got for us? You got Keith Hernandez, 1990 tops. This one is numbered to 44. He's the 1979 co-MVP and former Seinfeld star, I guess you could say, as he was in an episode there. But that's kind of a... Uh, I kind of like that card. I like the signature. Unfortunately, again, it is what we would consider a loss because a Keith Hernandez autograph. I don't know what you can buy that for on eBay, but I would guess... $10, $15 or so. Mizzy's up next at spot number seven. All right, Mizzy. Mizzy had some good luck. I put up a short the other day. I was on vacation. I was like, let's find a short. You know, it's release day of this archive signature series. Let me go back and find another video and see what the biggest hit was. And I did last year's video. And lo and behold, it was a Nolan Ryan one of one from like 1976 tops. Wouldn't that be something that you could do it again, Mizzy? Let's see if you can. And nope. <laughs> Not even close. It is Travis Ishikawa. It is a one of one on the sky blue. Travis Ishikawa, who was a former Giants here there in the postseason, I think. What was it, 2010 or so? He was a hero for you guys, but uh, not much value to that card besides the fact that it's a one of one will get you a little bit. So, Mizzy, thank you very much. We're at two one of ones. And Ian Cooper, can you step up for us here? And get something going. Spot number eight. Man, I tell you what, that preview video was so good. We had people leaving comments. Even though I send the video, I pick these up at a hobby store. They're like, oh, I see Top sent you loaded boxes. I was like, hey, man. I just, I actually had to beg to buy these at a hobby store. So, just got lucky. I picked eight great boxes or four great boxes out of the eight that I bought. Ian Cooper. I said, oh, here we go. And an all-star. It's a good one. It's a one of one, our third one of one already. So three is going to be a low pick. We're we'll probably going to end up with like six or seven here. It is a Steve Garvey 2002 Tops Archives Reserve Refractor. That's a nice card right there. Steve Garvey is not a Hall of Famer, but his stats warranted some serious consideration. He's in that kind of group with guys like Dale Murphy and Don Mattingly. And Andrew McCutcheon will be put in there when it's all said and done. Guys that are kind of close to the Hall of Fame, but just weren't quite. Their prime just wasn't quite long enough to get in there. And Steve Garvey is a very nice card right there. That is the best card of the video so far, Ian Cooper, with that one on the board. So, Ian, thank you very much. Ryan Fogel's up next at spot number nine. All right, Ryan, let's see what we can do for you here. In the nine spot, by the way, our auction is going to be moved back this week to Monday. Moved back a day. There's just so much stuff going on here with school starting up on Monday and everything. Being out on vacation for almost a week, so we're going to push the auction from Sunday tomorrow to Monday night. Hope that's okay with everybody. Here we go. Spot number nine. It's Juan Gonzalez. It's numbered out of five. 1952 Tops Design. Three of five right there for Ryan Fogle in the next box. Juan Gonzalez making an attempt to kind of sign on the white section there. All right, so William Buffington at spot number 10. Man, I'm glad I didn't do these boxes for the preview video. These, <laughs> You guys would have been like, uh, man, this product's the worst product ever because we've had, I don't know, maybe the, Gar the Garvey's probably going to get back more than $80, but the rest are not. Spot number 10. Here we go, Andrew Jones, who is a nice player. Not a Hall of Famer yet, but I'll tell you what, I think that he probably gets in. He's got an interesting signature right there. Look how his signature doesn't even match. This is kind of, look at his signature back whenever this card was signed, probably like 2000 and uh, what year is that from? 2006 or so, 2008. And uh, his signature does not even look the same. Looks like he writes write Shaw J now. Um, I don't know. Penmanship can change a little bit over the years, but that is a pretty egregious change in penmanship. That is his real signature, though. We've seen this one before, but this one right here that was originally printed on there, I don't know about that one. But this one, I've pulled his autos plenty of times that I've recognized the signature. That is a 12 out of 14 for William Buffington. Maybe he gets in the Hall of Fame. He has been garnering some support. His vote totals year to year keep improving. Here we go, Justin Williams. That is half the case done right now. Let's see what Justin can do with spot number 11. And he finds himself a cult icon here in Bartolo Colon, numbered out of 22. 
It is going to be a Heritage card from 2016. Bartolo Colon, number to 22 for Justin Williams. Spot number 12, Athletic Archives. Let's see what we can find for you here. We have three one-on-ones on the board. This is also Crud, and he has our very first Hall of Famer of the case. It is a Larry Walker Stadium Club. It is numbered to 23. Larry Walker with some good penmanship there. I wonder if he could have signed it. Uh, if I was Larry, I would have signed it like along the bat, like right there in that blue. I think that would have looked really sweet if he could have squeezed the signature in there. But also a really cool card with a hockey stick over his shoulder and a glove. Uh, Larry Walker, Hall of Famer, numbered to 23 for Athletic Archives. So a nice card right there. One Hall of Famer, three one-of-ones. And Dellen's up next. Dellen has two boxes. Boxes number 13 and 14. Let's see what we can do here for Dellen. In this first box, he has Cecil Fielder. It's going to be numbered out of 12. So Cecil Fielder right there. I don't know why, but I feel like I used to nickname him King Cease for whatever reason. Cecil Fielder, 1997. Topps card, you see it, 51 home runs in 1990 after going to Japan and finding his stroke. So Cecil Fielder for the first and the second hit for Dellen is going to be hopefully another Hall of Famer. We got one Hall of Famer in 13 boxes. Texas Rangers, it's going to be Julio Franco, another guy who went over to Japan and it may have cost him 3,000 hits when it's all said and done. That's a cool card right there. Baseball's best McDonald's card. Numbered to 33. It's a 1992 Julio Franco right there for Dellen Mercado. So Cecil Fielder and Dellen Mercado. Or Dellen gets Cecil Fielder and Julio Franco is his hits. And his two boxes. Dellen's going to go ahead and try two as well. 15 and 16. We've got one Hall of Famer. you got to think there's got to be at least two more. I can't believe there's only one Hall of Famer so far. Especially after pulling four in the preview video. All right. There's going to be Jim Palmer in here. I feel like Jim Palmer's always, always in like every case of signature series or Burt Blylevin. I bet you if we pull another one, it's going to be Burt or Jim Palmer. That's my guess is. All your fingers. He would have been my third guess. 1984 tops, numbered out of 65. So there's a Hall of Famer for you. He's got some pretty good penmanship right there. Raleigh fingers, numbered to 65, 1984 tops. So Dylan, congrats on that one. That is a pretty good pull right there. And let's see. Hey, maybe you can go two for two on Hall of Famers. By the way, I always like to slice these across the bottom like that so that you don't accidentally cut through the cardboard and end up slicing your slab, which would be terrible. So, Dylan, or Dylan's second box. We had Dylan, now Dylan. And he does it again. Two Hall of Famers for Dylan Foley. This time it's going to be Orlando Cepeda from the Kmart. 20th anniversary set, 1967 MVP, numbered to 40, Orlando Cepeda for Dylan. So Dylan with two Hall of Famers, three overall in this case, along with three one of ones. Jack Holland is coming up next with spot number 17. Good luck, Jack. We'll see what we can find for you here. And for Jack, we have it's another Hall of Famer, man. They're stacked at the end. It is a one of one Hall of Famer. It's the Eddie Murray Superstar card. I don't think I've ever even seen this card before. So these cards, once again, they buy them back. They stamp them. They put them in a one touch with the snazzy little um, magnet sticker over top of it. That is a 1986 Topps, some sort of Topps Collector Series Superstar card. Eddie Murray, it is a one-of-one. One. So four one-of-ones, four Hall of Famers. Jack Holland with that one. So this case is starting to heat up after just really starting slowly. Spun rate team, only three boxes left in this case. This one is for Gage. Good luck, Gage. Let's see what we can do for you here. It's going to be not a Hall of Famer. It's the Caveman, Jason Worth. He probably doesn't like being called that, but he... I think I used to call him that back in the day, like 10, 15 years ago when he was looking literally like a caveman. Numbered to 29, Jason Worth for Gage. It is another one of those Heritage 2016 cards like that Bartolo Cologne. Michael Dowling is up next at spot number 19. 
Good luck, Michael. Let's see what we can do for you here. And we have a Dontrell Willis, Allen and Ginter. It is numbered to 15. Dontrell Willis, 2007, Allen and Ginter in the next to last box. All right, so we've got one final box here tonight. Thank you very much for joining us. Tomorrow, I think I'll, I'll hopefully I'll bring you a card show video and uh, we'll have our auction on Monday. We'll also have Mystery Box Monday for you Monday as well, as always. And here it is, spot number 20. It is for Brad Worley. Let's see what the Whirly Bird can do. Brad, I don't know if you like being called that or not, so sorry if you hate that, that nickname. Brad Worley at spot number 20. Can he get our fifth Hall of Famer? I think we're at four and four right now. Four one of ones, four Hall of Famers. In this case, the Eddie Murray was took took one spot in both of those columns. Brad, final spot. It is going to be numbered to 26. It is, unfortunately, not either a Hall of Famer nor a one of one. It's Hunter Pence in his Houston Astros uniform right there, 2010. Allen and Ginter to wrap this one up. So, Brad, thank you very much. Everybody else who participated in this break, thank you. There you have it. That's a full case. Like I told you, you'll get some big hits in there. What was your favorite hit? What did you think the best hit was? I really like that Eddie Murray one of one. I thought that was pretty sweet. And, of course, any Hall of Famer is always a nice pull from this product. To give you an official grade on this product right now, I think I'm going to have to go and give this a C+. Plus. And because there are some Hall of Famers in there, you don't expect to get a Hall of Famer in every pack or box. I would like to see this product maybe be priced just a tad bit lower. Uh, you can still actually buy this product on Topps' website. It is $69.99 if you want to buy it directly from Topps. So you can buy a maximum of four. So if you can't find this out there and you want to try your luck, it's 70 bucks plus tax and shipping off of their website, which will probably be about 80 after the shipping and tax is added in or so. I don't know. Check it out and see if you want to pick, some, pick up some of those boxes if you want to. If not, maybe I'll try to track down some more cases and we'll get some more cases being busted open for you in our team breaks. Our team breaks will go on sale tonight if I can get them all finished up. And, you know, probably not because I've got a bunch of stuff to do around here. But I think maybe I'll list those on Patreon for you maybe tomorrow morning. So if you'd like to get into our team break Tuesday... We'll be putting those up for sale soon. So thank you very much once again for watching. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your Saturday night. And I will see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.